بتارتير جليل حدثته عن قصة تحريجي لم بعدتي ووقفت في حصين أنطف زهرة الأمل النبي ورأيت في جالوت ما أني ليابتلع المرء بكتائب الإيمان بكتائب الإيمان بكتائب الإيمان جنب المصحف الهادي الدليل تمضي كتائبنا مع الفجر المجلجل بالصهيب نمضي ولا نرضى صلاة العصر إلا في الخليل هذا السبيل ولا سبيل سواه على آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد This is Ahmed Sadiq presenting to you the importance of parents a lot of the brothers and sisters that grow up uh, in this society and across the entire globe, if we should say even, a lot of them, they don't respect their parents. They take their parents for granted. They think that their parents are always going to be there in their lives. But rather, as a matter of fact, parents, just like each and every one of us, are going to pass away in this life. The bus station, if you go on the bus, the bus has a start point and it has an end point. When the bus driver says, this is the end point of the destination, it doesn't mean that you just sit there. That means this is the end point of the destination, so you get off the bus. Similarly, the human being has stages in his or her life where they go through a lot of phases. And one point in their life, the phase is going to end and it's going to come to a complete end. And the ground that I am sitting here right now, you will be beneath it. That is where you're going to be your final destination. Do you really reflect about that or do you just live life? At the same time, your parents brought you up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in a, in a surah which he talks about al-isra, about the importance of parents. He subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبْرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا أو كلاهما فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما واخفض لهما جناح الذل من الرحمة وقل رب رحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا وقل رب رحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا وقضى ربك ألا تعبد إلا إياه Your Lord has ordained for you to worship Him إلا إياه alone Right after that, understanding the Tawheed, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, immediately, immediately what follows that is, وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And be merciful and kind to your parents. Don't be that child when your parents calls you and you go and you want to show them how big you are. Yet, yesterday you were nothing. You were like water. So, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانَا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبْرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفْ And when you grow up, okay, and you reach a certain age, respect them, be merciful to them, do not say a word like uf. A lot of us, we just might say, what's wrong with that? That's just uf. Uf actually, as a matter of fact, has a stronger meaning than no. Because the minute you say oof, that is going to hurt your mother's feelings. She's going to remember that time when she was giving you birth. She's going to remember that time when she was lifting you in her, in her arms, on her lap, when you were nothing. When she, was giving you, when she was giving you milk at the same time, breastfeeding you. That little child that you used to remember, that used to smile. And today he grew up or she grew up. And you say, where did you come from at this time of night? Because your parent, you worry for them. And they say, 
Why are you always asking me this question? Why do you care? I'm a grown-up now. That's what we all say, right? And we say words like, oof, or mom, that's none of your business. I know what I'm doing. These words, as a matter of fact, by saying words like this, I guarantee you that you're never going to smell paradise. Pray salat as much as you want. Give zakat as much as you want. Be good to your friends. Be good to everybody. But the minute you are asul walid, that you are disobedient child, and you're a bad child to your parents, you will never smell paradise. All of these things that you are doing, you are just doing it for your own sake. You're just doing them for your own sake. But the minute that you are respectful and your mother makes dua for you, I can guarantee you that you will enter into paradise. A man came to the Messenger of Allah وسلم, He said, Man nas bi sahabati. Who has the most right upon me? And then he said, Qala ummuk وسلم, Your mom. And then he said, Thumma man. And then after that, he said, Qala ummuk, your mom. He said, Who's after that? Thumma man. He said, Your mom. Qala ummuk. He said, Who's after that? Thumma man. He said, Qala ummuk. For the third time. And then he said, For the fourth time, Thumma man. And then he said, your father, the fourth time. So imagine, three times the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he said, your mother has the most rights upon you, more than your friends, more than your colleagues, more than anybody else. Your mother, your mother, do not forget your mother. Your mom is the gate, your mom is the entrance to Jannah. Because the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he said, heaven lies under, beneath your mother's two feet. So the, the minute you say, I want to be a good person, but you're Asul Walidain, how can you enter into paradise while you're disrespectful to your parents? And say words that are nice, that are nice. You know, sometimes if your mother is mad or she is upset, just come home and imagine, smile. Just smile. Open your teeth, smile. Your teeth are not out of dear brother and sister. Just smile. That smiling at your brother is sadaqa. Smiling at your mother is sadaqa. So by doing this, she will calm down. Your mother was angry. Where did you come from now? And you just say, Mom, I love you. Just smile. And your mother will calm down. She will relax. And she will then say, Oh my dear son, where did you come from at this moment? You see, look at the reaction. But the minute you say, oof, why are you always asking me? It's just going to make things even escalate and even more worse. And by making a dua that, oh Allah, have mercy on them. Just like they used to clean my diapers, just like they used to put me to bed, give me milk, wash my mouth, give me food. They had mercy on me. Ya Rahman, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have mercy on them just like the way they had mercy on me when I was a child. Because you know what? The last thing that you know is that your mother or your father passes away. What will be your reaction at that moment? I know a lot of people when their parents, one of their parents or both of them passed away and they said, and they started crying and they were the worst child ever. And they were disrespectful to their parents and the mother would cry every night and the father would say, what kind of son is this? I tell him to do this and he does something else. I tell him go right, he goes left. And the mother and the father, they cannot take it no more. And you put stress on them, stress over stress. When they gained you, when they gave you all this food and you become big all of a sudden and you grew up. Now is that time for you to return all of it back, even though you cannot return it, but you should do as much as you can for your parents. And, you're, and this child, I remember this boy, this man, teenage, his parents passed away and he started crying. And he started saying, I wish I could have done this. I wish I could have done that. I wish I could have become a better child. I wish, I, I wish, I wish, I wish. How many I wishes? Well, let's stop with the I wishes and go back to our parents. Go home, kiss your mother in the cheek. Say, oh my mom, you are my mother. Stop being arrogant. Go back to your father and say, oh my father, I may have been a disrespectful child. Please forgive me because you are my parent. I will not smell Jannah. My social life will be bad. My education will be bad. I will be bad. Please help me. Make dua for me. Oh, my father, please do so. And then at the same time, 
by your parents making dua for you, you will enter into paradise. Look at the advice of Luqman. Luqman the wise, he gave advice to his son. He said, after he said, Oh my son, look at even the way he spoke to him. Ya bunay, oh my son, oh my respected son, oh my child. La tushrik billah. Inna shirka la dhulmun azim. Do not associate partners with Allah, for verily shirk is a big dhulm and it is azim, it's huge. Do not do that. After that, again. Immediately, right after that, imagine, look, in Surah Isra, we talked about وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُ إِلَّا إِيَّا Another one, when Al-Luqman is advising his son, he then said immediately, وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ وَهْنًا عَلَى وَهْنٍ وَفِصَالُهُ فِي عَامَيْنِ أَنِشْكُرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْكَ إِلَيَّ الْمَصِيرِ وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ you, And then you have been in the belly of your mother. وَهْنًا عَلَى وَهْنًا And she took all this pain for you. Pain after pain. وَفِصَالُهُ فِي عَامَيْنِ أَنِشْكُرْ لِي Give thanks to me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. أَنِشْكُرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْكِ Right after that, وَلِوَالِدَيْكِ And your parents. Look at the importance of parents. Ayat after ayat, reminder after reminder, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu telling us these important things about the parents. Because the last thing you want to do is if you lose your parents, you one day, you will become a parent. The way, and I tell you this dear brother and sister, do not disrespect your parents. The way you are to them, wallahi, I can guarantee you this, your child, children will be the same to you even if not worse. They will be the same to you even if not worse. Because the way you are to your parents, it will be the same. Your children will also be the same to you as well. And I have seen that with my own eyes. People that have been disrespectful to their parents, and then when they grew up and they became parents, they lived a miserable life. They lived a miserable life because the way you treat them, and if your mother makes dua for you, you will be faqad faz of the successful people. If you be amongst the people that are disobedient to your parents, you will also be disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah says, Worship me after worshiping me. And then He says, Be merciful to whom? Not your friends, not to anybody else but to your parents. Teach yourself to smile. Teach yourself to say good words. Kalima tayyib. Because when you say good words, they can go a long way. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you. And the minute you are respectful to your parents, you will gain their respect. Allah will respect you. And then there's, an, there's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cherish this individual as well. And at the same time, your parents will always love you. And what can be better than a love of a parent? What can be better than a love of a parent? Sometimes you might say, why is this person loved by everybody? I'll tell you the answer why. And Jibreel then tells the angels and then Rahmah descends on the earth and people love this person. The rahmah and the love descends within the hearts and the people love this person. Why? Because when you're respectful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to your parents and you are a straightforward Muslim and you respect your parents, I guarantee you that everybody will love you. Don't look for the love of people, but look for the love one and firm foremost of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Cherish your parents, love them and do the best and be a child that they can say when they look at him, Yes, this is my child. I leave you with that, inshallah ta'ala. Do not forsake your parents. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
سبيل سواه إن تبغي